Boom! How's it going guys? Token Vaping. That's me right there. Yes. So today's juice review is a new line that I had the utmost um, privilege and honor to be able to get samples of uh, to do reviews on. It is a three flavor line. They are based out of Illinois and it is um, just a huge honor just for the simple fact of that they sent me quite a large bottle. I have to double check and find out what sizes they are offered in or if it's just offered in the one size so that it makes it more cost effective for them. They just do the one size. It is a most generous size. It is offered in a 0, 3, and a 6, and it is an 80-20 mix ratio. The company is called Splurge, and this is their box. That is their logo. It is an octopus with uh, vapor pens. Now, quick disclaimer before I go any further, and I've had to start doing this in some of my videos just because there is a big controversy going on in the vaping world with vapors, non-vapors, and the like about basically labels and how they look, how they, how they come off, who they're projected for, who they attract, whether or not they're too kiddish looking, and if they are, why? Because you have to be a certain age to be legal to vape. Um, my disclaimer for myself, this is just me personally, I am a reviewer. I am not here to argue or support whether or not a logo is or isn't what it should be, what it's supposed to be, what it projects, what it, what it does. I am here strictly to review the line. I'm here to review the flavor, the vape, the clouds, um, the mix ratio, the enjoyment of the vape itself. In no way, shape, or form does me doing this review support or argue anything else other than that. I do apologize to the companies by having to add this in my videos. However, like I said, it has become a big deal in the vaping community about people arguing about logos and labels. So with that, I'm going to move on. Me personally, I, I do actually like this particular one because if this was on a t-shirt, a beanie, a hat, or a tattoo, um, I just I think it would be a, a cool look. But personal preference, that's all that is, just like the review. Um, but this is their bot. This is their box. This is their flavor. This is one of three strawberry vanilla. Now, if you all watch my videos, you know I am a big strawberry vanilla, strawberry dessert, strawberry yogurt, strawberry custard fan. So, the fact that there was a strawberry vanilla, you know, I was busting into this bottle as soon as possible. Um, like I said, it is an 80/20. It is a three uh, milligram nicotine. They are offered in a zero, three, and a six. And again, that is just for more for cost effectiveness. It's not because they don't want other people that vape higher nicotines to not try their line um, it just is is more affordable um, to be able to just make larger size bottles with less uh, levels of nicotine um, without having to pay an arm and a leg to keep everything up to date but if you do vape a higher nicotine that does not mean you can't try a new flavor or a new line in a lower nicotine you may find that you do like it whether or not you, it's a daily all day or just an occasional here or there you never know it does not hurt to try something outside the box um, but this is their box all of the information is there it has their warning and ingredient labeling on the back it has their Facebook their Twitter their Instagram um, their this is their tag name barcode and it just basically says splurge on the bottom and the top now the really cool thing about this if you did not see this right there 120 milliliter bottle this is the bottle, quite a large bottle, quite a large bottle of hopefully strawberry vanilla goodness. Um, it's just basically supposed to be uh, fresh ripe strawberries mixed in with uh, vanilla. Some people have said that it's supposed to be a vanilla ice cream style. Some people said it's just more of a vanilla cream. Um, we will bust this open and we will find that out. Uh, it does have a safety ring on that. So this is a first vape first review. You can twirl this and it will not come off until we bust that ring. Basically everything on the label is straight off the box as well. It does have their website. They do have one. It is splurgevape.com. If you go to the website, it does list all three flavors. It does list the full flavor profile for them. Um, it does say that everything that they use in their ingredients is 100% locally sourced in the United States. So that's always a bonus as well. Um, they also have a direct contact uh, for them. They have their email direct contact. They even give you the address and phone number of their main shop in Illinois because they say they like having people stop by. They like meeting the community. They like meeting the vapors. So that's really awesome as well. They get to know each other. Um, 
you get to try the juices, you get to see how it's made, things like that. It's just, it's their way of saying, hey, we're Vapors too. We want to show you we're just like you. We're not here to make money. We're here for the enjoyment of vaping. That's a really awesome, awesome, awesome message. So we're going to go ahead and bust into this. Like I said, this is a first vape, first review. It is going on a fresh wick. There is brand new cotton right there. And my cotton of choice, as always, is the Texas Tough Cotton that I like, I use and love to this day. Um, it just works really well for me. Um, I like the fact that it has almost no break in time. I've, I've not come across a flavor yet that I have not gotten at least most of the flavor, if not all the flavor, right off the bat on a, on a dry cotton wick like you just saw. So definitely, definitely big fan of it right now. They are having some really good, uh, a good deal going on with that. Um, check out their site i will put that link in the comment box um but it's the, the basically the only cotton that i use so we're gonna go ahead and pop this open i will tell you what how the uh, aroma comes out of the bottle and then we will get to vaping so with that if you listen you should hear a pop when the security ring snaps right there and then you see that it separates so be please be careful if that does not do that when you get a bottle of this then that ring is not there definitely want to make sure that you do not use it contact the company let them know what's going on um, they will be more than happy to take care of anything that they have to to make sure that you get a bottle in the safety of what it's supposed to be with everything intact so as you can see it does come with a much longer dropper so that you do get everything out of the bottle and that it does reach basically the bottom of the bottle so you do not miss out on any of the juice that's in the bottle so I'm going to go ahead and get this dripped. We will saturate this cotton. Now, regardless of anything else, this is basically, again, my opinion. And there are people that say I don't need to say this in every video. That's their option, and I do respect that. However, in my review, I do like to let people know that this is just my opinion. I'm just letting you know what I get out of the flavor, what I get out of the vape, and to show you the clouds that come off of this. Um, everybody has a different vaping preference everybody has a different vaping style um, sensitivity to flavors things like that so just because i get something specific out of it does not mean that everybody else that tries it will um, i'm just trying to give a little bit better information and knowledge about this um, so that it gives you a little bit more information to go off of as far as to see if it's something that you would want to try yourself that is all quick did a little bit of an over drip there which does happen from time to time do a quick pre-burn yep definitely get strawberry out of that um, but I also do get a nice hit of vanilla. Now, I'll be curious to see off the vape if it's a vanilla flavoring or if it's more of like the vanilla bean that a lot of companies have been starting to use more of. Um, the vanilla bean, I, for me, I feel just gives a much more prominent vanilla taste instead of tasting like flavoring its actual vanilla. So I'm going to go ahead and cap this up. And as always, I'm vaping at 75 watts. And this is the strawberry vanilla from Sp Splurge Vape. clouds off that 80 20 you're definitely going to be expecting clouds regardless of anything else first and foremost definitely some dense vapor okay so definitely starting to get some flavor out of that um, as I've started doing more recently, if you, those of you that have been watching my videos, I've been doing a, a second drip on this and vape just to ensure that I do get everything out of the flavor as possible so that I do not misinform anybody. Um, sometimes, especially on a fresh wick, you don't always get all the flavor right off the bat. So there might be something that you overlook or don't taste right away that is actually supposed to be there. Um, so hopefully by doing the second vape, I ensure that I get more of the flavor than not so that I can basically give you a better description of what the vape tastes like.
Okay, so strawberry vanilla from Splurge Vape. Definitely a fan. I like it mainly because the strawberry flavor is not super strong, but it does taste more fresh of a strawberry than um, basically like an, uh, an artificial, a candy, or a flavor ring. It actually does taste like a strawberry, but it doesn't have as strong of a punch, which is nice because it gives it a much mellower, um, a more smoother uh, vape style to it for me. The vanilla definitely is... I would probably put it more in a uh, mid-range between vanilla flavoring and like a vanilla bean. It doesn't have the specific punch that a vanilla bean does, but it definitely does have a much more of a vanilla uh, flavor to it than just some simple like flavoring that gets thrown into a, a vape. Um, it's definitely smooth. It's definitely a cream, a creamier vape. So it is definitely right in my in my vape range and my flavor uh, profile. It's definitely something that I would use in my all-day vape. So definitely check this out if you do like strawberries, if you do like the, the vanilla, the, the yogurt cream uh, cream style. It's definitely a smooth all-day vape um, option to have in your rotation if you do have uh, various flavors that you do keep in like a set everyday uh, vape and go. But definitely check them out at splurgevape.com. They're on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram as well. Definitely give them a follow and give them some support. Splurge Vape, thank you so very much. I look forward to trying the other two flavors in your line. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I myself can do to help make your vaping experience more enjoyable is the only reason why I do this. So definitely reach out to me and let me know if there's anything that I can do to help better your vaping enjoyment, and I will do everything in my power to make that happen. But until next time, no matter what, always remember, morning, noon, or night, Truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good one, guys.